Buntag Church. Mayong Buntag. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Ginahangyo na ko ang tanan sa pagpanindog. Before ta mag ato sa to ang praise and worship, let us uh, close our eyes. Let us acknowledge the presence of our God in our, in our midst today. Abba Father, we come before you, Lord, by the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, O God, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this life, O God. Salamat, Ginoon Diyos, sa pribilihiyo na imanggihatag ka na mo, Lord, where we can worship you, O God, freely, O God. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom, O God, Lord, from the bondage of sins, O God. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom, Lord, sa mga worries, O God, even mga problems, O God. Salamat kay Lord, kay you have cost us, O God, Lord, to be here today, O God, Lord. We could have been anywhere else, O God, Lord, but today, O God, we will choose to worship you, O God, in spirit and in truth, Lord. Salamat, Ginoon Dios, and even, Lord, we acknowledge your presence in our midst, O God. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for, for your blood that washed us white as snow, O God, Lord, and even for the Holy Spirit. We welcome you in this place, O God, Lord, na dilip mi muhawa ang simbahana, Lord, na wala na mo na dawat ang imo presensya. Wala na mo na dawat, Lord, ang panalangin, Lord. We thank you, O God, Lord, and we are excited, O God, Lord, for what you're about to do today. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Ato dang kusog, ato katagan o kusog, kapalakpang, ato buhin na Diyos. Amen. Amen. Let us read Psalm 95, verse 1 to 7. I'm sorry, 1 to 6, rather. Let us all read together. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to Him with songs of praise. For the Lord is great God, and a great King and above all gods. In this hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are His also. The sea is His, for He made it, and His hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship, bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Hallelujah. Today, church, we will come into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's see it. Come into His presence with thanksgiving in your heart and give Him praise. And give Him praise. Come into His presence with thanksgiving in your heart with voices raised.
Kristo, na ami karon na ginoo. Able, O oh God, Lord, na masaka ang umangamot. Without guilt, O oh God, Lord, thank you, Lord, for taking all the guilt. Thank you, O oh God, Lord, for paying the price, O oh God. And Lord, today, O oh God, Lord, I'm sending your word in Psalm 42, O oh God, Lord. As the deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Where, sh when shall I come and appear before God? Lord, as the deer pants for the water, so our, so our soul, Lord, pants for you. Today, God, it is our desire, Lord, to experience you today. Lord, to nababati, Lord, na yung presensya. Sa imo presensya lamang, Lord, makita na mo ang kalipay. Sa imo presensya lamang, ginoon Dios, makita na mo ang kalinaw. Comfort, oh God. Peace. Hallelujah. Today, oh God, Lord, as we sing this song, as we draw near to you, Lord, please draw near to us. Come on, church, let's continue to worship the Lord today. So we'll wait on 
of the vision, mission, and values of Life Builder Student Center Incorporated or LBSCI. LBSCI! Life Builder Student Center Incorporated. Empower to impact the next generation. Builder Student Center Incorporated is a non-profit organization dedicated to empowering youth and children through holistic child development, livelihood opportunities, and educational assistance. Our mission is to support the growth and well-being of young individuals by providing them with the necessary tools and resources to thrive in their personal and academic lives. We value love for God, Word of God, prayer, faith in God, holy living, relationship, excellence in service, integrity, commitment, growth, stewardship, professionalism, transparency, accountability, valuing family, teamwork, volunteerism, humility, authenticity, resilience, nurturing care, intentional, and proactive. HCD, or the Holistic Child Development, is a holistic development program for children that will cater to their spiritual, social-emotional, cognitive, and physical needs. AYA, or the Educational Initiative Assistance, is an educational assistance for college students with a flagship program of individual mentoring that aims to give a holistic guidance to aid recipients. AIRS, Honor, Excellence, Integrity, Respect, and Service. AIRS, AIRS is the livelihood program for recipients and caregivers. Just go to our LBSCI booth after the service and grab your mini brochure. You can ask questions to our volunteers and board of trustees 
and they will answer all of your questions. Worship Connect on April 14 with a departmental evaluation. This is the worship team's evaluation of their finished strat plan. And the completion of the membership covenant site. C2S Activate, where Jesus walks, is beautiful. That is why outside is beautiful. C2S Connect Two Souls, Mindanao Outreach Tour on April 15. On April 21, the Discipleship Department invites all life group heads for their training and reorientation. If we grow together, no one is left behind. Last Wednesday, we started the pastoral counseling sessions. And every Wednesday thereafter, we invite you to come. If you want guidance or advice on your present situation and want to talk to our pastors, the pastoral office is open from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Prayer Request, Request Corner is now ready. Just go to your Messenger app and accept our invitation for our community group chat. There, you can drop your prayer request. Or you can use our prayer request form to write down your concerns and drop it in our glass offering bin anytime. Coming soon is our two Sunday services. We are conducting a poll survey. So please check your preferred schedule and drop it in our glass offering bin. Our sermon series continues. Cultivating the culture of worship. And today, it is the dynamics of true worship. Unity in communal worship. Blessings. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Palakpakan nato atong buhi nga ginoo. Hallelujah. Daghan gyud tawon ta og tilumanon sa atong simbahan. Oh, na medyo taas-taas gyud ang atong announcements. But um, uh, what's the most important uh, announcement for uh, this week? is the cascading and the mass information of our VMG, the vision, mission, and the core values, I should say, VMC, of the Life Builder Student Center uh, Incorporated. So, among our volunteers na naka-uniform, and of course, our Board of Trustees, please stand up. Sige, ang mga naka-uniform, yan po ang ato mga Board of Trustees. And of course, our volunteers, ang uban na sa gawas. And uh, you may sit down. Thank you very much. Mo na siya ang kailangan natong ipadayag no, sa atong matagusa. Kay Aron, uh, mapakita yun nato that indeed, uh, God is working in uh, the Church of God Sasa. We do not only uh, bring holistic child development. We also offer, we also have this program called um, AIRS where um, this is the livelihood program. We have the holistic child development and also we have the, uh, what's the other one? The AIA, yes, the educational um, initiative assistance. So praise the Lord for that. We are truly growing together. When there's life, there's growth. And when there is growth, there's life. Hallelujah. Usab, palakpakan na ito atong buhi nga ginoo. It was... It was also announced that um, we already have the prayer request form. I believe, mga ushers, um, nakabutang na tano dito sa gawas. Or if you want to, you can uh, get your form so that you can uh, write down your prayer requests and give it to us, to the pastors, or you can uh, drop it in our glass offering bin. Okay? And of course, we will be having a two Sunday service. That is why we need you to have a copy of this and please check your preferred schedule. If you want to be early, we will start at 8.30 up to um, 10 o'clock. And if you're um, a little bit late, you can um, be with us at 10.30 to 12 noon. And right now, I would like to welcome our visitors. Actually, dili na ni good sila bisita. Kay ato ni silang uh, nahimama tong uh, napang time ni, ni Pastor Sam. They were able to come and uh, fellowship with us. And of course, ang ato ang um, isa sa mga nag 
nag-anhi atong Wednesday aron maka aron makahimamat nato no kay uh, mao na ato ang ginaingon every Wednesday thereafter we will have pastor counseling session so gisa ni ini si Rubilin uh, Omikas um, she's here and she's back from uh, Hayatus <laughs> Hayatus so nana siya karon thank you um, sister Rubilin for coming ug kauban niya iyang anak right Percy yes Percy Monkil, salamat kay uh, Naamu Karon. And of course, akong classmate, si Nora Rebecca Agustin. Ang saan na ba ang apelyedo? Okay. So, igsuon ni siya ni Ate Terry Baldon. And thank you, uh, Beck, kay Naaka Karon. It's, it's really an honor no, to, uh, to cater all of our visitors. And we believe as we grow together, nobody will be left behind. We will be reaching out to each one so that you can come and you can grow together with us. Also, Luis John in CISO, you're here. Luis John. I hope you are around. Nadini sa kuwa ang imong form. Okay, so si John Luis, thank you. Thank you very much. You're all welcome here. Palakpakan nato usab atong buhi nga ginoo. Okay. And now we are still on the overarching theme, which is the uh, cultivating the culture of worship. Cultivating the culture of worship. And today I will be talking about the dynamics of true worship. Let us read it all together. The dynamics of a true worship. Shall we all stand as we read the word of the Lord in Psalm, rather Psalms 133. All together, let us all read it. Behold how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the Jew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Mag-ampot ang tanan, iduko nato atong ulo, o gipiyong nato ang atong mga mata. Our loving Heavenly Father, truly, O Lord, our hearts are overwhelmed right now for a great worship we have. Indeed, because of Jesus Christ, we have been changed. We are all in awe of your presence, O oh God, and we are so thankful because we are here together, growing together, O oh Lord, in the word, growing together in unity, growing together in worship. As we continue, Lord, to come to you right now, as we continue, Lord, to bow down our heads to you, as we continue, O Lord, to humble ourselves before you, we pray, O God, that you will allow the Holy Spirit to help us curate clarity, O God. Let it be that your words will be clear, O Lord, na diligid siya magclutter sa bung mind, but instead it will work wonders, O God, in our um, entire being, O Lord. Ang pinaka-importante gid karon ginoong Diyos sa mong inner life, among inner being, and continue to change us from the inside out, O Lord, so that others will really see Jesus Christ in our lives. Thank you for today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please sit down. Yes, let me repeat once more our scripture text, which I will be focusing on Psalms 133. This is just very short. It's just three verses, and let me just... Um, uh, start again with verse 1. Behold. When we say behold, maingon kita, ah, behold. Ing ana siya. We gaze upon the awesomeness of God. Behold. So, gisulti gud ni King David. Behold how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Amen. So, okay lang man ko. Okay lang akong tingog. Madungog man diha sa likod. Kay murag na pa sila ginaayos, no? Dili man sakit sa dalunggan, madunggan man ko ninyo. Amen ba diha sa likod, madungog ko? 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Behold how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the Jew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life for evermore. Kaning Psalms 133, short as, as what I've said, pero profound siya na psalm. And it is attributed to King David. Say it with me. A psalm attributed to King David. It consists of only three verses. And, um, but it carries very significant implications for unity and harmony within the community of believers. So muna ato explore ang Psalms 133 and how it relates to the topic of the dynamics of a true worship. Sometimes, uh, mo ang pagkukulabildo uh, sa mga kauban ako sa pastoral team. Usay makaingon mi unsa bitaw gyud nang dynamics no? Unsa man gyud nang word na dynamics. So, um para mas dali nato masabtan, nangita ko og uh, Tagalog term. Tapos, ang Tagalog term sa dynamics kay dinamika. Nasamot na. Kalisod, no? Dinamika. But anyway, ang dinamika raw po ay tumutukoy sa mga proseso or paggalaw ng pagbabago sa loob ng isang sistema. So, ayan, murag klaro na gamay ang dinamika. Ito po, ay maaaring kaugnay sa komplikadong interaction o pag-uugnay ng mga elemento na nagre-resulta sa mga pagbabago ng sistema. So in the context of the dynamics of true worship, maaaring ito'y tumutukoy sa mga proseso, puwersa sa loob ng tunay na pagsamba na nagiging bahagi ng paglilingkod at relasyon sa Diyos. So muunang, sa Psalms 133, nagsugod yun siya sa famous opening line, Behold! How good and how pleasant it is for brethren or for God's people to live together in unity. Ginaportray mismo, di ba kay mabasa na to? Unity ang word din ha. It, it portrays the image of harmony o camaraderie, similar to the anointing oil that flows from Aaron's uh, head to his beard, up to his robe, up to his garment. And the Jew of Hermon or Mount Hermon that descends upon the mountains of Zion. So kaniko nung uh, pag-mention sa Mount Hermon, Sa Psalms 133, symbolic ni siya. Kay tungod, ang Mount Hermon was known for its abundant Jew. Say it with me, abundant Jew. So in the context sa Salmo, it could be interpreted as a metaphor for the blessings of unity and harmony. So meaning to say, kung naaday tay harmony, when we work in harmony, we are united with each other, um, mura siyag dili hagkot ba ang uh, relasyon. Smooth ang relasyon. Moi, Naka-moisturize. <laughs> di ba ang Jew, naka-moisture na siya? So, naka-moisturize siya. Dili siya uga. So, muna kung naatay unity, that is why it was mentioned in Psalm 133, mura siya og na ay um, interpreted as murag oil. No nga gikan kay Aaron's head down to his beard. Kung nga nung kinahanglan i-mention pag yun si Aaron. Because Aaron is a priest. A highly, a highly, um, highly positioned sa Old Testament. He is a priest and he is considered um, and he is um, well respected in the Old Testament. So, for the blessings of unity and harmony among God's people flowing down from a place of abundance to bless Mount Zion, which represents the dwelling place of God. So nakita yun nato, gi-emphasize yun ni King David ang importansya o kamaayo o ang beauty of unity among our 
uh, our, our, amongst us, among the believers. So mo nang kung walay unity, on sa may opposite sa unity. Discord, chaos. Kung walay unity, dili taganahan mo lingkod, makigistorya, di taganahan mag, uh, mag-interact. Kaya kung walay unity, kapoy. Nagsigi ta og understand. O dili ta i-understand. That is why we are magpasalamat yun ta kay King David, no? Kay iyahag yung gisultina. Alright. Now, we were, it's, um, it's actually four Sundays and fifth Sunday na karon that we are talking about worship. And I believe for the entire month of March, nahibalaan na yun na to na worship or real and authentic worship is all about God. Say it with me, all about God. It begins from the heart. Say it with me, it begins from the heart. And revolves around God. So mo na kumuingon tag worship, di ligit siya pwede i-attribute kay Taylor Swift, 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 Taylor Swift, or kung kinsa pa ng mga tao din ha na mga popular karon. Worship is to be accounted to God alone. Because real and authentic worship is all about God. It begins from the heart and revolves around God. So, nga namang kinahanglan nato i-emphasize ang dynamics of true worship diri sa ato ang church family. So, makapangutana mo nga nung unsa naman po ng topiko nila din ha sa Church of God sa sa unsa naman po ng dynamics nga nung kinahanglan mag na to na hisgutan ang dynamics of a true worship sa atong pamilya. Well, it says there, it will promote deeper connection with God and with each other. Mao nang kinahanglan ato yung hisgutan ang dynamics of true worship. Unsa gani itong dynamics kaganina sa Tagalog? <laughs> Dinamika. Ayun. Ito po'y tumutukoy sa proseso pagalaw at puwersa sa loob ng tunay na pagsamba na nagiging bahagi ng paglilingkod at relasyon natin sa Diyos. So that is why we are emphasizing the dynamics of true worship in our church family because it will promote deeper connection with God and with each other. So napakoy pangutana. Why do we why do we Sick. Ingon man ta. Estudyuhan na to, Emphasize na to ang dinamika sa true worship in our church family. Kaya nga naman, ma-promote na to ang deeper connection with God and with each other. Next slide. Help me. Why do we seek deeper connection with God? Nga nung kinahanglan mang yun mo, mo seek sa deeper connection with God. Malay ko kung um, unsan ang buot pasabot ninyo. Why? Because it will nurture our unity. Why? Because Jesus Christ, our Lord, is the author of unity. He is the God of order. So kung na ay disorder, na ay discord, walay ginoo din ha. That is why we need to seek deeper connection with God and with each other because it nurtures unity. It will encourage fellowship. Wala ko'y ganahan mag-fellowship. Kung ikaw mismo, dili ka united with each other. We are not united with each other, I should say. Dili ka ganahan mo fellowship sa imong matagusan na kauban sa simbahan if you do not believe in the unity that we are uh, na atong ginasulong diri sa Church of God sa asa. Again, why do we seek deeper connection with God and with each other? Because it nurtures unity, it encourages fellowship and spiritual growth. Now, why unity? Why spiritual growth? Nga namang yun importante ni siya in our church community, Aber. Because if we have unity, if we have spiritual growth, it will fulfill the mission of Jesus Christ effectively here on earth. Unsay mission ni Jesus Christ? Aber, pakutanan ako mga pastors. What is the mission of Jesus Christ? It is to make disciples of all nations. 
And that is why kita mismo din hi, we journey towards authenticity and intentionality because maugid na ang gisulti sa ginoo sa tua. Mo na yung mandato sa tua, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And kung wala tay unity, kung wala tay spiritual growth, which is spiritual maturity, dili yun na to ma-fulfill ang mission ni Jesus Christ. Effectively, amen ba? Why? Because if there's unity, if there's spiritual growth, there is spiritual maturity, we become a light to them. We become a light. Mahimotang suga kanila ug makita gid nila ang Kristo nga atong ginasimba kinsa man atong ginasimba louder please o kinsa ang atong gina worship yes because it's it's god worship real and authentic worship atong gibasa kaganina is all about god di ba charm yes and it revolves around god and it begins from the heart, di ba, Lot? Walay lain. Gikan sa kasing-kasing, pag-worship nato sa ginoo, usa na siya ka-central na expression sa atong relasyon diha, sa ginoo and with each other. O, dili lang daw na siya expression, ang worship, dili lang expressions. Alignment po daw na sa ato ang kasing-kasing sa mga katuyuan sa ginoo. Mo nang dali kaayo sa ato ha. easy kaayo sa ato amo worship sa atong Ginoo kay tungod united ta aligned na ang atong mga kasing-kasing sa purposes sa atong Ginoo and at the same time it is a unification of shared reverence and adoration nga nagaremind sa atong tanan sa atong identity as God's people unsa man atong identity be we have already um we have already Accepted Jesus Christ, our Lord, personal and personal Savior, and say tawag sa atua. Yes, Christian ang tawag di ba kay ato nang gi um, gi accept na nato si Jesus Christ as our Lord, personal Lord and Savior. So kung Kristuhan na taon sa isunod na step, we follow Jesus Christ na. O kung follower na kani Jesus Christ, unsa na tawag sa atua? Disciple, thank you very much. Kung disipulo na ta sa ginoo, kinahanglan, we will obey everything that the Lord has spoken in the why. Why the Bible? So many si Ma'am Love, uy, sige man pangutana. I just would like to know kung naminaw yun mo sa atong mga series. Why the Bible? Why we should obey the Bible. Nga man. Because this is the Word of God. And everything that is written in it is God breathed, yes. What else? True, authentic, yes. It is meant for, it meant it is meant to correct us as well. Mauna nga, ang atong ginahimo matag-adlaw must be aligned to God's purposes. Because ang atong identity, tawo ta sa ginoo. Kristuhanon ta. Kung Kristuhanon ta, aduna tay ginong Heso Kristo sa atong kinabuhi. O kung aduna tay ginong Heso Kristo sa atong kinabuhi, we can't help it but follow Him. And when we follow Him, we are now called disciples of Jesus Christ. We follow Him and we follow His teachings. Now, let me proceed. For how many Sundays already, daghan na mug natunan about what is worship? Can you help me please with the next slide? Worship para sa kua. And I believe no one will disagree that worship is our proper response. It is our proper response to who God is. Para sa imo ha, kinsa ang ginoo? Unsa ang ginoo? Unsang nature sa ginoo? Perhaps makaingon ka, He is all-powerful. He is omnipotent. He is our provider. He is our Jehovah Jireh. He is our protector. He is our peace. He is our Jehovah Shalom. And because we know who God is, we are worshiping Him. We can worship Him willingly. Pero kung wala ka na kaila 
sa imong Ginoo kinsa bitaw nang ilang Jesus Christ nga ginaingon wala ko kailaa na Of course you can never worship someone you do not know but if you know who God is worship will always be your response say it with me worship is our proper response to who God is and what he has done and what he continues to do Time check. It's 10:22. I will just be talking about three points: unity in worship. Help me with my slide, please. Unity in worship, shared anointing, shared anointing meaning to say diversity. Even though we have differences, we are diverse in our beliefs or belief systems. If, even though we have uh, different backgrounds, we have different cultures. Sa atong mga panimalay, sa atong mga gigikanan, atong past, still we have that shared anointing if we have Jesus Christ. And authentic worship or true worship, we will have diversity in worship. We will have unity in diversity. And much more, we will have our impact that will go beyond the church walls. In the, um, sa kaning, not, uh, atong impact, dili lang um, makontain din sa four corners of our sanctuary. But it will go beyond the church walls. You know what? I really praise the Lord. Some of our uh, brethren in the COG churches have uh, contacted us and they were able to um, tell us that they really want to be mentored. And we really praise the Lord for that because kung unsa tong gina download sa ato adin he gusto gyud na namo na i-share sa uban especially sa ato mga brethren within our denomination. But let me continue with our first um, subtopic which is unity in true worship. Unsa man daw ning unity in true worship? Well, When we say unity, it involves communal engagement. Everyone is engaging. Everyone is actively participating. In our community, dili ta naga dili dali. Kung mo ingon nga naatay usa ka programa mga igsuon ko, let's rally for this. Everybody will rally because we are united. When we have Jesus Christ, and if we know who God is, we will worship who God is. We will worship God. And thereby, when we worship our true God, we have that kind of um, willingness to get involved in our communal program, in our church programs. There is an active participation within the community of believers because true worship is dynamic. Dili daw boring ang true worship. Worship. It involves active participation and unity within the community of believers. So, give flash nato din ha ang Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. I believe kabaluta tanan ni ini o ako na lang i flash. Help me with my slide, please. Okay, gamay lo pero sigi lang. Kung kinsa sa inyo ha ang makabasa, we will read it all together. Okay ba? Para wala gi makatulog karon no. Everybody will be quick to. Listen to the word of God and read Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. Let's read it all together. Amen. How we may spur, let us consider that. Spur meaning to say, mo industa sa matag para mahigugma ta sa ilaha. O sila mahigugma usab. And they will be, um, they will execute good deeds, good work. What is it? Unsa ang pwede nato i-applicar ni ini? Not giving up meeting together a psalm are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another. Unsa ang pwede natong ma-applicar ni ini? Unsa ang pwede nato na application ni ini? Mao nang atong gina-rally ang accountability. 
ginarally yun nato ang life group. It is a small group gatherings or life group gatherings where believers come together to worship. Amen ba? Sa kada life group nato, kada LG nato, we sing songs, we worship the Lord, we pray to God, and we pray uh, with one another, and we study the word of the Lord. And kung ma-remember nato, we are into this um, life group for almost two years. And napansin nato, kung kinsa tong mga kauban nato sa LG, grabe yun kaayo taka-close, no? Nga naman, we were able to connect, smoothly connect with each other. Makasulti ta sa atong mga problema, makasulti po na atong mga kauban sa ilang mga problema, and then we pray with each other. Dili lang during sa atong life group, kundili even sa atong mga early devotions, we are praying with each other. Huwag mauna siya ang atong gina-emphasize din ni ko. If you are not yet part of the life group, I encourage you, be a member of a life group. Please approach our discipleship head, Ma'am Olive. And in nagin si Ma'am Olive, Ma'am Olive, asa ko pwede musulod na life group. Because in the life group, we did or we do bless strategy. B, begin with prayer. L, listen. E, eat together. Maunang kung magmita, naagin na pirmi picture nga na pagkaon. Because we eat together, we serve each other, and we share the word of the Lord together. Not only that there is unity in true worship, there is also shared anointing. There is also shared anointing. Ang imagery kaganina sa oil, flowing down from Aaron's head, down to his beard symbolizes the anointing of God's Spirit upon his people. So in true worship, gina-experience yun nato ang presensya sa ginoo, ang anointing of the Holy Spirit, nga nag-unite sa ato ang matagosa for a common purpose. O kanang common purpose, nga mo ay nag-unite sa ato ang tanan. Even though we have so many differences, na akay gusto, di na ako gusto, ay mong gusto, even though we have that um, differences, still if we have the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is shared anointing. There is unity in diversity if we are engaging in true worship. In true worship, again, let me read that. We experience the presence and anointing of the Holy Spirit that unites us in a common purpose and empowers us to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Murasyag refreshing Jew ba? Nagiingon kaganina ang Mount Hermon nga abundant nga daghan o Jew, abundant and ang Jew, mauna siya ang nag sa land nga nakapalibot and it goes down to Mount Noo, plus ma-refresh pag yung takaayo. Amen ba? We have that shared anointing because there is unity in diversity if we engage in true worship. Again, the imagery of oil, nakita mang yun na nato, no? Gikan kay Aaron's head, down to his beard, and there is that refreshing dew of God's presence. Just like Mount Hermon, nga tungod sa kaabandan sa dew, nga na sa Mount Hermon, it will nourish the land. Let me go to the next slide, palihog. Just as a body, the one, isa lang mag itong lawas. Kinsa sa inyo ha, diri ang duha ang lawas. Unang gibaba na ko akong kamot kay isa ra po da akong lawas. So in 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 13, it says, Just as a body, though one, has many parts. Kinsay kompleto og parts diri sa lawas. Taas ang kamot. Isa lang lawas, pero daghang parts. Diba? So naasya'y diverse na 
functions. Kung ako ang ulo bilang pastor ninyo, kamutanan parte sa lawas. Adunay ba-ba nga musangyaw? Adunay naapoy dalunggan nga? Maminaw. Kaya di man po pwede nga, why maminaw? Puro lang nagasangyaw. Ug na ay uban sa atuan na tiil. Kay maoy mula kao. Na ay at uh, some of us nga kamot. Na very potential. Nga ginagamit ilang mga kamot. To offer help, to pray, to care, and to share. To our brethren. All its many parts form one body. It is the same with Christ. Christ as the head, kita parte sa lawas ni Kristo. And that is why, dili ga matter four square ka, evangelical free church ka, Baptist ka, Pentecostal ka, Church of God ka, it doesn't matter. We are one in the body of Christ. And let me just complete or read it once more. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 13. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Christ. We, we are baptized with one spirit to form one body. So unsa ang isa ka sin sa Biblia nga makasulti yun ta nga there is worship in the diversity of cultures. Next slide would uh, would tell us in Revelation dili kayo makita no but I hope diha sa kilid makita man diha sa pikas na TV nato na medyo dako po din ha. It talks about a great multitude from every nation worshiping the lamb who was slain the lamb Jesus Christ and it says after this I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels, and all the Angels were standing around the throne and around the elders of four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. In true worship, na ay unity in diversity. There is unity in diversity. It doesn't matter Chinese ka, Indian ka, Malaysian baka, Filipino baka. It really doesn't matter. IP ka ba or Dabawenyo. It doesn't matter. If you have Jesus Christ, there is an impact that goes beyond church walls because there is a continual transformation makita nila ang continual na transformation sa matagusa kanato even si Saul nga nahimo nagpol in his transformation experience on the road to Damascus radical ang iyang pagchange si Saul nagikan persecutor siguro kita sa unang panahon Grabe kong magmarites. Grabe kong mga hisgot. Hisgot sa atong mga silingan na wala mang gani sila na wala mang kita kaila. Perhaps before, grabe ka ita kabakakon. Grabe ka ita ka-cheater. Pero because of Jesus Christ and we begin to worship Jesus Christ authentically, truly, 
we are being changed from the inside out. Si Saul na persecutor ni Atto gani siya no padulong sa Damascus para mangita siya o Kristohanon para patyon niya and then the Lord struck him and changed him radically. Even ikaw, ikson ko, I know you've been changed radically by Jesus Christ. Sometimes maghilum lang siguro ta, pero git change yud ka sa ginoo. And I believe all of us wanted to be changed. Dili mang good pwede nga dili ta ma change. Okay, when the Lord Jesus Christ would speak to us through His Word, mausap yud ka, ikson ko, lalo na when you apply the Word of the Lord. You know, there is a church, we sing songs of praise, we sing songs of worship, we also dance before the Lord in worship. Let me call on our sister, one of my Kalife group, the head of the dance ministry, Sister Manessa John Baptiste, to give us a testimony of how dance and how the patterns of dancing maka-honor good sa ginoo. And I do believe with her testimony, you can also relate na pwede sa kahilomon sa akong ka-life group ing ana ka-authentic siya mo worship sa ginoo. Um, praise the Lord for this opportunity to uh, give my testimony to the Lord. Um, pag mention natin love, Lisa, ko abang mag-testimony ko, nagsugod na akong kulba. <laughs> Kaya ano ko ti love, dilit siya ko, sanay mag in front, no? Kaya maragdigan na ako gasa. But anyway, sa pag-story natin love, Lisa, so nag-obey lang jud ko <laughs> sa iya, ha? So, um, uh, I thank the Lord sa... Um, good news niya sa ako ah, uh, as um, member of the dance. Um, it, uh, I started uh, sa ministry when I was 15 and it was like over 30 years. <laughs> so mag-compute-compute na sa ako ang edad. Gabalo na mo kung sa akong edad. <laughs> so uh, over 30 years nga nag-serve ko through dancing na na hatag no na hatag yud kung unsa ang pagdayig dia sa Ginoo so uh, other there are other forms of kanang worshiping the lord na may singing so na ay pag preach no na ay pag share the word of god and um sa muapod sa ministry sa dance to we are also serving the lord sa ang pagsayaw okay ang sayaw gyud nag originate din sa gikan sa Ginoo no, but because of Satan nga nagfall siya, so nakawat ang sayaw. Mao na na ay other forms of sayaw today nga laway gyud siya tan-awon. But but, uh, but thank the Lord kay giridim, no? Ang katong na, na, na fell na klase na sayaw na redeem siya and praise the Lord kay naa na siya diri sa simbahan. And tambourine dancing is biblical. Makita din natin mga verses ta tambourine dancing diri sa sa Bible and it's really biblical and we are really dancing the verses in the Bible. So as the singers sing the verses in the Bible, kami put diri nga nagasayaw put mi sa mo ang patterns nga kanang verses put in the Bible. Like for example, we have patterns named full gospel. So makita na siya sa Mark 16:15. So, ang sige sa Mark 16.15, Go into all the world, preach the gospel to all nations. So, ang among, among full gospel na pattern is like every corner of the earth, you preach the gospel to all creation. So, ang among ginasayaw, hindi na siya merely sayaw, it's, uh, there's a meaning and it's biblical. No? So, we are dancing for the Lord and pasalamat ko sa Ginoo for being part sa ministry nga um gihatag niya sa ko ah no so all right 
And also there are um, other like um, mga rason why we are dancing, di ba? We are raising our hands, we are mo moving our body. There are many, many reasons, no? Ang isa siguro kay nagdayag tada sa gino, malipayon ta sa mga kadaugan na to, sa to ang life, no? And um, another thing also, um, we are dancing because we are into warfare or we are into battle. No, di man na to makita sa tong physical eyes, but in the heavenly realm na ay battle nga nahitabo. And through the use and through the top and through the stoke of the tambourine, in pa sa Isaiah 30-32, nga um, ma, so na, ma, ma win ni mo ang battle kung pag-stroke ni mo sa tambourine. That's why as we clap and as we stroke the tambourine, nagyon na siya ay kadaogan yun ay tabot dito sa heavenly realm. Okay? So praise the Lord for that. And so, um, so mano siya mga reasons. So praise the Lord kay um, um, daghan nga mga generations nga na witness na ko sa ministry and I thank the Lord kay uh, up to this time na nagtay mga little generation no sila love Nell and about worshiping the Lord no giving him thanks no so um, I thank the Lord for His grace kay throughout this, my service in the Lord. Um, nagi gasha sa gino nga nagsustain sa ko ah. no it's all by the grace of God nga um, nilahutay and pasalamat ko for the support of the church because um, we are all doing this for the glory of God so it's really an honor to serve the Lord through dancing join us samtang kami nagasayaw so Ubani gud mi nga magsayaw kay nagsayaw ta para sa Ginoo nalipay ta kay naa ang Ginoo nga nagsustain sa tuwa sa matag adlaw ang grasya niya and we are united in worshiping the Lord raising our hands singing songs and dancing before the Lord no and uh, me I am so thankful to the Lord to the Lord kay for um, choosing me no it's really a privilege to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And it's an honor to serve you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the impact of true worship goes beyond the church walls. When transformation makita gayod sa atong mga tagsa-tagsa na kinabuhi. Kung makita nato ba ang mga dancers, kung buto na hunaon, unsa man kaya na ilahang ginahimo din ha. Thank you to Ate Maneza for teaching us na every stroke of the tambourine, every sway of the hand, every stamp of the feet na asay diverse function para mo to hatag og true worship sa atong buhi nga ginoo. Hallelujah. So why should we cultivate the culture of worship in our church family? Nga nung kinahangla ni cultivate nato ang culture of worship in this church family that we are in. Kay para ma-insure, masiguro na worship becomes an integral part of our identity and experience. Gina-insure uh, ang uh, kung mag-cultivate na tanana sa atua ang culture of uh, worship, mahimo na na siyang second nature sa atua. Ug makita kung unsa gyud ang atong identity. Di ba? We are God's people and God is our shepherd. Pinaagi ni Ana, if we know who God is, we are willing to give worship to our God. So, why should we cultivate the culture of worship once more? It ensures that worship becomes an integral part of our identity and experience. Kaniput siya maka-empower sa atua to express our diverse and personal experiences in worship. Isa na sa gimension kaganina ni Ate Manessa. There are diverse forms, diverse ways of worshiping our God and one of which is dance. And they already ha kani to mga dancers grabe gyud ni sila mo worship sa Ginoo they spent so many hours to practice they have so they spent so many hours to hone their dancing skills 
all because they love Jesus Christ and they know who God is. It also promotes richness in our worship gatherings. So worship is our proper response to who He is. Next slide. What He has done and what He continues to do. Our proper response to who He is and what He has done and what He continues to do is worship. Next, our worship will exalt the name of Jesus. Shall we read it all together? Our worship will exalt the name of Jesus, will glorify God as one body united in purpose, transformed from the inside out. Let me repeat that once more. Our worship will exalt the name of Jesus, will glorify God as one body united in purpose, transformed from the inside out. Hallelujah. How about you, Ixon? Unsa para sa imuha ang worship? Unsa para sa imuha ang dahilan nga nung ma-worship ka? Para sa imuha, unsa ang gusto ni mong ihatag, himuon, para makita sa ginoo ang true worship? Because our worship will exalt God will exalt the name of Jesus, will glorify God as one body, united in purpose, transformed from the inside out. In your paper, you may write these down. Our reflection questions na pwede nato ma-share sa atong mga kauban sa life group. What are the ways I can contribute to promote a culture of unity? Kung sa kaya ang mga pamaagi na makakontribute ko para makapromote o culture of unity. Naabay, number two, are there areas in my life, naabay area sa akong kinabuhi where I need to surrender more fully to God in worship? Naabay area sa akong kinabuhi na kinahanglan ako siyang isurrender more fully to God in worship para maalaw ang Holy Spirit na maka-work in me and through me para makahatag o glory sa ginoo. Again, what are the ways I can contribute to promote a culture of unity? Are there areas in my life where I need to surrender more fully to God in worship? Allowing His Spirit to work in me and through me for His glory. I believe na may tagsa-tagsa na tubag sa atong reflection questions. And I pray na dili ninyo kawangon ang opportunity to meet with your life group after the service or meet with your life group throughout the week. Basig dili bakante pag-adlaw sa Domingo. Perhaps sa Lunes, Martes, Merkules, Webes, Biernes. By the way, Tuesday and Wednesday, April 9 and 10, holiday. Basig wala na mong nakamit sa imong life group for so many months. This is the time. Talk to each other. Build each other up. Let us consider to spur each other and encourage one another. Ano na nga itong kinabuhi? Mahimong panalangin. And thereby, mausap ta, pagpadayon. There is a continual transformation from the inside out. May I request you to close your eyes and bow down your heads as we sing our new response song. In preparation of our observance of the Holy Communion, we say holy because Jesus Christ is holy. Our God is holy. If you think you are not worthy to partake of the Holy Communion, then it's time for you to examine your heart, examine your mind. Perhaps nakasala ka, igsoon, kay kitatanan, makasasala mang yun. Pero pwede ta mga ayog pasaylo sa atong ginoo. Okay ba na? Pwede ta mga ayog pasaylo sa atong buhi nga ginoo. First John 1.9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is willing to forgive. 
Jesus Christ is willing to forgive because he is our redeemer. sab sa ato ah kung dili si Jesus Christ na and kung igsuon wala pa kay Ginoong Heso Kristo sa imong kinabuhi ginahatag ni ayang kaugalingon diha kanimo ayo pagdumili igsuon the innocent has been killed for the guilty to be free an innocent like Jesus Christ has to die 
So the guilty like you and me will go free. Ikson, I want you to raise your hand right now. Ask God and receive Him right now and pray this prayer along with me. Ginoong Heso Kristo, nagapaduol ako diha kanimo. Akong gi-admit ang akong sala. Ang akong dakong sala. Nasayod ako nga pinaagi sa imuhang dugo sa kalbaryo. Mamahimo akong matarong. Ginoong Heso Kristo, salamat sa pagpasaylo sa akong sala. O karong adlawa, ako kang gidawat nga akong personal Lord and personal Savior. Aron ako, mahimo na ni mong anak. O ikaw, mahimo na na akong amahan. And now my identity is changed. I am now God's child. Salamat Ginoo. O karon, isulat akong pangalan sa libro sa kinabuhi. Aron sa pag-abot nimo. Aron kuhaon ang righteous. Maapil ako Ginoo. O papuy-on mo ako sa mansion nga imong giandam para kanako. Tagang salamat, Ginoo, sa kaluwasan nga akong nadawat karong buntagan. I worship you, O Lord, and I love you. Amen. May I invite the leaders of this church, please, to come and prepare our communion elements. If you have prayed that prayer, you are not worthy to partake of the Holy Communion. An innocent has to die so the guilty can go free. Jesus sacrificed once and for all. And rather than go to a person who would make a temporary sacrifice for our sin, we are told to simply believe in Christ as the one who has resolved the sin issue on our behalf and provided for our forgiveness and new life. Get your share and just remain in the attitude of worship. This is a sacred moment where we partake, we will partake the bread that symbolizes the body of Jesus Christ and the grape juice that symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's continue to be in the attitude of prayer and worship to our God. Amen.
Savior, our God, our King. Our eternal salvation comes from you alone, O oh God. Thank you very much. This opportunity, O oh God, to praise you, to glorify you, to honor your wonderful name, O oh God. Thank you very much. Indeed, O oh God, you made a way for me to enter. You made a way for all of us to enter. Oh Lord, we bless you. We magnify you, O oh God. May I invite everyone to stand, please. And now let us raise the bread. And we are going to break it into two. And we shall pray. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for this bread, the symbol of Christ's body given for all of us. The fact that Jesus Christ suffered for us means that you are willing to cleanse us and to heal us of all of our sins. Thank you, God, for your love, for your mercy. Thank you for inviting us to eat at your table and to share in your suffering, that we may also share in your glory. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let's now partake the bread. Let's raise the cup now. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for the cup that symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ shed for the remission of our sins. Lord God, thank you for the sacrifice to die for us. Thank you for washing us clean and reconciling us back to you. Thank you so much, Lord. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, let us all drink the cup. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song once more. Now my heart cries, this is my Redeemer.
our finances as we gather here today to worship and give thanks you should be reminded of the beautiful act of giving our generosity not only support the work of the church but also reflect our love to God and our obedience to him if our declaration is now ready we shall now recite our declaration beginning now. I declare in the name, the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ financial, financial blessings break, break through upon me and upon the members of this church. I will continue to be faithful in supporting the work of God. I will continue to be committed in doing the work of God according to His will. I declare breakthrough in our businesses Break through in our jobs, break through in our families. The sources of my income will be protected, and the work of my hands will be blessed by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, our Lord Jesus. We humbly thank you for the countless blessings in our lives. We acknowledge that all we have comes from you, and we are grateful for your provision, for your protection and your unfailing love. Today, O oh Lord, we lift up our tithes and our offerings and even our hearts in gratitude for the privilege of giving. Lord, we pray that you would multiply every gift given today, that it may be used to further your kingdom and bring glory to your name. Bless the work of our church and the ministries it supports, both locally and abroad. May lives be transformed, hearts be touched, and communities be strengthened through our collective generosity. Nakangay salamat Lord sa pag-provide sa tanan in Jesus' name. You may all drop your tithes and offerings to our glass offering bin. Or nasa kilid po ang atong mga baskets. Amen. Hallelujah. By the way, we would like to welcome the presence of Bliss and Bart Spoppin. They're here. They're, they're at the back. And perhaps they are celebrating the birthday of Nurse Chai. It's her birthday today. And of course, it's the birthday also of Mark Sanchez. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Alright, so the kanpa naghatag sa ilahang offering sa baskets. While they continue to give their tithes and offerings. And of course, si Joy Balubayan is also with us. Hi Joy, thank you for coming and celebrating with us this morning. Alright, let's sing our doxology now. God from upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the love of God the Father and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us now and forevermore and the people of the Lord will shout. Amen. 